Hi, this is Iris from Cashmere Goat, and in this short video, we're going to be talking about what to do when you come to the end of your round with um, a, a two-color brioche knitting project like the one I'm working on right here. I'm just going to zoom me in just a little bit more. Okay. <clears throat> so, obviously, what we know from brioche knitting is that here's a naked stitch that needs to be accessorized, but we also know we're at this awkward place end of the round. So what it looks like is this. I'm going to move my yarn forward and slip the stitch just like I would, purl-wise. And then, and this is the part that always really made me uncomfortable when I was first learning brioche, was I have to just wrap that shawl as if I would, and all I'm going to do is leave it hanging at the back because I'm going to brioche purl this one on the end of my next round. But for right now, this white yarn is just going to kind of hang out while I move on to my next round. So I'll show you. So I'm moving my stitch marker. My pink yarn becomes my working yarn. And you can see I've dropped that to the front in the previous round. So I've got my pink yarn. I'm getting ready to start my new round. I slip this naked stitch because it needs a shawl. I have to wrap my pink yarn around to create the shawl because I am on a purl round. I'm going to be purling these, brioche purling these two together, the stitch and the shawl. So brioche purl the next stitch. And now I'm basically going to forget about this long white tail until I get to the end of the next round. We're coming up on the end of a brioche purl round and I wanted to show you what we do at the end of a brioche purl round. So I have my yarn. I yarn is forward and I'm slipping that purl, uh, or sorry, that next stitch, wrapping my yarn forward. And then notice that this is the white yarn that we just sort of left hanging at the end of the brioche knit round. I'm just kind of placing that atop the stitch so that I'm set up to brioche purl those two together. And now I'm going to drop my pink yarn in front and get ready to switch to my working yarn being my right yarn, or sorry, my white yarn for the brioche knit round again. So slipping my marker, here's my brioche, here's my white yarn, and I have it in position to knit towards the back. And now I am brioche knitting those first two stitches. And so if we look in between, this is my beginning of the round um, row. And you can see that this fabric is not as squishy as this fabric. And that's because, you know, we know our beginning of the round uh, stitches are a little bit funky always no matter what we're doing um it still looks pretty good to the eye it's just you can tell that there is a difference but essentially i'm continuing to wrap the yarn in exactly the same way um, that i would be doing a regular brioche or brioche knit or brioche purl stitch thanks for watching this video on brioche basics if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful please give it a like or leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to the cashmere goats YouTube channel for more awesome video content. Thanks and happy knitting!